Podcast. Jeremy Peer, how long did you do land before you didn't need your day job? So I, let's see, I think I replaced my income at or around my two year anniversary, which was pretty awesome, which nowadays is kind of average. Maybe not, maybe a little above average, but I'd say a lot of people are doing that. Above average, possibly. Don't say um, so short. You're above average. Oh, thank you. But uh, but yeah, I'd say, and then about three and a half years into my journey, I, Jeremy, I actually quit my job. So that's that's where I was. Um, we have people doing it. Uh, you know, we just had. Uh, I mean, we have we have a few examples now. I mean, we have Roberto Chavez. Um, he's going to be featured on a roundtable podcast here soon. He he was able to quit his job. Uh, Anne Marie Forbes quit her job. Um, yeah. John Burnett quit his job. Uh, Michaela Sorney, she's going to be able to quit her job anytime now. She's only been, she's a young, young gal, just graduated college a few years ago. She's a Verizon store manager. Uh, she's going to be, she could be done now. She's crushing the business. She's crushing the business. Uh, she hasn't, yeah, you know, she's doing amazingly well. She's yeah, for sure. So yeah, yeah. lots of examples, you know, um, it's a matter of how much look you can grow this business at a slow, steady pace. You can ramp. It's it's a matter of uh, just you executing the fundamentals day to day. Yeah. Um, if you stay consistent, then you'll be able to you know have these same results. If you sort of do a little here, a little there, then it'll take you longer. But it's okay. You're, you it's your path. It's your path exactly. And and I would say that those examples we just spoke of. And there are more that just recently came in. Those folks did go through our one-on-one -on -one coaching programs, uh, but there are people who do it without the coaching programs as well. Uh, but the, I believe that the coaching programs help you get there faster. And I went through coaching. Typically, not without flight school. What's that? But typically, honestly, not without flight school because the big bonus of the flight school is it gives you a structure that can handle large amounts of deal flow. Right. Uh, if you're looking at income replacement, the idea of doing it all yourself is is it's nice, right? But it's not going to probably get you there because you'll be bringing on a new job, and you probably won't have the time to bring it to the level of income replacement because you won't, you know, you you'll just you'll just run out of time. So right. really, the flight school teaches you a structure, like how do you put people in place, systems in place. How do you scale it so you can dial back how much time you have vested in every week to get the same results? Right. And uh, here's the other thing, uh, Jeremy Pure. I know, I happen to know you're a young guy. And listen, like, if you're already thinking about, if you already, if you already see the end goal of quitting your job in your near future, I'm jealous because. Uh, I don't know. You got to be what mid twenties, Jeremy. Throw it up there, if you don't mind. But um, you know, I didn't find this business till I was thirty nine. Quit my job when mm -hmm. I was 43, 42, 43. Uh, I get very jealous when when uh, we, we have all these young folks who are succeeding uh, so quickly, and they have this notion that they're going to be able to quit their job in a couple of years. And they're like in their early to mid twenties. And they're right. They can, they can. And I shouldn't be jealous. I should be happy. I'm happily jealous, jealously happy for them. <laughs>